Hi everyone, welcome back to Life Technologies YouTube channel and thank you for watching. So this is a continuation of our IP run training series for service providers. And you remember that in our previous sessions, we've covered the general architecture or the general overview of the IP run network. We have also covered IGP deployment on IP run network where we discussed the ISIS design principles and also did a lab simulation on the same. In our last few sessions, we've discussed the BGP design and MPLS. So once we've deployed this protocol, the IGP, BGP and MPLS, we are now ready to start carrying services on our IPRA network. And remember that service providers provide different types of service services to customers. We have 2G, we have 3G, we have 4G, we have 5G. So 5G is now deployed in almost all service provider networks. So with all these services, we need to find a better way of deploying them on the same IPRA network. So we have the radio equipment at site. As you can see, we have the BTS connecting to the CSGs. And remember, in the standard, in the standard IPRA solution, the BTS or the best transceiver station has to connect to the CSG. So in this topology, you can see that we have the base transceiver station connecting to the CSG, but then we have other base transceiver station that connecting to the ASG and the RSG. So in a standard IPRAN solution, the CSGs are the equipment that will connect to the BTS. But in a real world application scenarios, you have the BTS connecting to the ASGs and RSGs in some cases. This is because when you have the ASG and RSG, you don't have to buy or acquire another equipment to act at the CSG. The services can be configured directly on the SG or the RSG and will not have any issue with the, with the routing of the services. So this is the real world application where we have some BTS connecting, majority of the BTS connecting to the CSG, but in some rare cases, we have the BTS connecting to the SG and the RSGs. So once you have connected this equipment to the CSGs, now you need to configure the services so that uh, we have communication from the BTS, from the base station to the controllers. So the RSGs will be connecting to the controller. Sometimes we also have the SGs connecting to the controllers, depending on the network setup for a service provider network. So I've mentioned that we have different radio access technologies. We have 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G. And we need equipments to, to be able to provide these services. So we need equipment for 2G, we need equipment for 3G, we need equipment for 4G, both in the radio side and in the controller side. So we'll have an equipment for 2G at the site. We'll also have an equipment for 3G. We'll have an equipment for 4G and 5G. And then on the controller side, we need a controller for 2G, a controller for 3G, a controller for 4G, and a controller for 5G. You can see the number of equipment that we'll need to have in our data center. So in this episode, we'll be discussing the SRAN solution for mobile services. So SRAN stands for Single Radio Access Network. And before we discuss SRAN, we need to understand how the traditional setup used to be. So I've mentioned that we need controllers or we need radio access equipments at site for 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G. So we'll have a BTS, we'll have a node B, we'll have an E node B for 4G. We also have the G node B for 5G. And traditionally, all these equipments were on different hardware. So we'll have boxes installed at site for 5G, 4G, 3G, and 2G. And all these equipments, we also need to establish connection to the router. So we'll have separate connections. In this setup, you can see that we need five connections, the four connections from the radio equipment to the router. So we end up consuming four ports on the router, which is acting as our gateway. And then on the controller end, we also had to have connections for 2G controller, 3G controller, and 4G controller. So they were all physical 
hardware that you need to install at your site. But then this one has been phased out and we have introduced what we are calling the SRAN solution, the single radio access network. So with SRAN solution, service providers can have one hardware serving all these purposes. So it's kind of the software defined network for the run where we don't need to deploy all these equipment on separate hardware. We can just have one hardware and then we can deploy or we can have all these radio access technologies being deployed on the same hardware. So with the SRAN setup, as you can see on the right, we have the BTS. So we have only one radio equipment at site or we only have one hardware at site. But then this hardware will be able to provide all these radio access technologies. It has a module for 2G, it has a module for 3G, it also has a module for 4G and 5G. So we have minimized on the hardware requirements. And then we also need just one connection from the BTS to the gateway router. So instead of having four connections, we only have one connection. So even in terms of service deployment and management, it's easy. For the controllers, we also don't need hardware equipment for all the controllers. We don't need a, a separate equipment for 2G, 3G or 4G. We can have one equipment, one hardware equipment. And in this hardware equipment, we are able to have 2G controller, 3G controller and 3G controller. Remember I mentioned the idea of software defined. So we have one hardware, but then this hardware is able to provide controller functions or we can deploy multiple virtual controllers in this one hardware. So with this setup, we have many advantages of the single run solution and some of these advantages are that the single run is scalable and future proof. So we are using the single run because of its scalability and future proof. So service provider network can easily evolve and this has enabled the service operators to adapt to the changing market dynamics and technological advancements without doing significant upgrades or infrastructure overhaul of their network. So this one is ensuring that we have long-term investment protection and sustainability. So it's scalable and future-proof. When you don't need the 2G or the 3G, you can just come and switch off the the part that is serving that 2G and 3G and you can reuse it for other for other functions. Then another advantage of the SRAN solution is the efficient spectrum utilization. So with the SRAN, we have the dynamic allocation of frequency bands and radio resources across different radio access technologies based on traffic demand and network conditions. So we can dynamically allocate the frequencies and the resources with the SRAM solution. So this one will help to maximize the efficiency of available spectrum and improve network capacity and coverage, especially in areas with high use density or limited spectrum resources. So we are able to efficiently manage the spectrum utilization when we are having the SRAM solution. Remember, we only have one controller, the baseband controller. Then another advantage of SRAN solution is uh, it's utilizing a software-defined architecture. This one is allowing operators to dynamically allocate network resources and adjust network configuration based on changing traffic patterns. So we can adjust the network resources based on traffic patterns, user demands, and even service requirement. So this one improves network efficiency and enables operators to minimize network performance in real time. Then we are having cost savings with the SRAN solution. Remember, we don't need hardware for all the different equipments. 
we can just have one hardware which will help to lower the total cost of ownership so the tco cost will be lowered and then uh, another advantage is the hardware platform so we are consolidating various radio access technologies onto a single hardware platform including the base station and related equipment so this one simplifies network deployment and maintenance by reducing the number of different hardware components that operators need to manage and maintain. So we have reduced the number of equipment that we need in our data center. We have also reduced the power consumption. Remember with the other architecture, you need to have all those devices powered. But with only one hardware, you can easily reduce on the cost of power supply and the power consumption at site. So these are the main advantages of the single run solution, scalable and feature proof efficient spectrum utilization. Uh, it, it utilizes software defined architecture, so we are consolidating different equipments into one hardware. We are reducing on cost and then the hardware platform that consolidates all the radio access technologies into one equipment. So this is the first part of our service deployment and it was just to introduce you on the SRAN solution. And in our upcoming videos, we'll now be shifting to discuss how we do the design for the services. Remember, we need IP addresses to configure between the BTS and the CSGs. We also, so we need IP address planning for different technologies. We also need to do VLAN and we also need to do service segmentation so that we are able to carry all these services on our IPRAN network. So we'll be discussing IPRAN design for, I mean the IP address design, VLAN design, and also the VPN instant design, which will ensure that our services are running okay on our transmission network. So thank you for watching again, and please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thank you.